On this episode of PBC Jabs, we preview our jam-packed weekend of fights on Showtime and FS1, including a chat with former world champ Victor Ortiz, who makes his return to the ring on Sunday. What's up, boxing fans? I'm your host, Jordan Hardy, and this is PBC Jabs. If you love boxing, then this is a weekend you don't want to miss as we bring you back-to-back -back nights of fights. We start off Saturday, July 29th, live on Showtime from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. In our co-main event, Jamal Charlo enters his first 160-pound bout since making the move up from 154 pounds to face Jorge Sebastian Highland in a middleweight title eliminator. And in our main event, former four-division world title holder Adrian Broner takes an undefeated three-division champ Mikey Garcia in a 140-pound bout. The fists start flying at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. The action continues on July 30th with a special Sunday edition of PBC on FS1 Fights from the Rainbow Bank Theater in Bakersfield, California. The co-main event will feature rising 154-pound contender Justin Deloach clashing with hard-hitting Nathaniel Gallimore in a 10-round showdown. Afterward, former welterweight champ Victor Ortiz steps back in the ring to face Mexico's Saul Corral in a 10-round main event. Before Ortiz walks back into the ring, we thought we'd catch up with him. Victor, thanks for coming on Jabs. Absolutely. Thank you guys for having me on Jabs. I appreciate it. First off, what happened with the Brandon Rios match falling through? There's been a lot of chatter over the last year about you two getting in the ring together. Is that still a fight you would like later since you guys have this rivalry going on? Um, I don't know what took place between that camp and, and us. We were ready every time. Um, I think if anybody in the boxing world or the fans that actually know boxing, they know one thing about me. I get, I get fights. I don't run, I don't hide. So at this point in time, all that talk, hey, it got him a fight. I'm pretty sure once he started seeing my posts of me pretty ripped up, he was like, oh, hell no, that's a demon. So I don't know. At the end of the day, uh, I'm not gonna waste my time uh, again, 18 weeks to be exact. Uh, I'm not gonna waste my money to make myself look like Michael, Oops, uh, Michael uh, Angelo's sculpture again just to not fight. Your opponent Saul Corral was in the ring with Josecito Lopez back in April, and Lopez earned a unanimous decision victory. What did you see in the fight that you can capitalize on for July 30th? I think uh, Corral's a, hey, he's, he's an old school fighter. He keeps coming forward. No matter how many punches get thrown at him, he's not gonna stop. So we've uh, prepared for just that, a war, which, you know, my wars are kind of crazy. <laughs> Times I go down, I get up, he goes down, he gets up back and forth, but uh, we're ready. It's been 15 months since your fight with Andre Berto, and this is only your third fight since 2014. Do we see an end of the road coming soon? Absolutely not. Uh, I see a resurrection. You know, I had a nice conversation with uh, Al Heyman and Sam Watson, and um, I had a baby, so my little boy needs to see his daddy be world champion again. And uh, at this point in time, I'm giving it all to him. Everything necessary for boxing is going to boxing. So this is step one, you know. Uh, come Sunday night, I will hold my hands in victory. I put acting aside. My agents were not happy. I love them and appreciate them very much. Gersh, Brett Norensberg, Mike Stout. Uh, but I'm not done. Well, Victor, thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you July 30th. The show kicks off at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on FS1. For ticket information and fight details, visit PremierBoxingChampions.com. That's all for this week's PBC Jabs. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time as we continue to bring you the best in boxing.